What presentation method should you use to help your audience feel as if they're right there in your story with you? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you heard about the concept that when you tell your story and you do it well, people actually feel as if they're in your story and they're thinking about theirs. Well, here's a subtle tip that will help the audience feel as if they're right there in the middle of the scene with you as you're sharing your narrative. It's subtle, but it's effective. What is it? Tell your story in the present tense. Here's a quick example. You've heard it before on these tips, but it's effective for this tip. It's the story of me sitting in my manager's office. He's giving me feedback on those evaluations I'd gotten on my workshops. He says, Michael, this is not good. He then proceeds to read all the different feedback and, and I'm feeling worse and worse and worse. And finally I say, Joe, is there anything good in there? He says, yeah, here's one. Michael has nice hair. All right, that's told in present tense. If I tell it in past tense, you feel a little disconnected as opposed to, I'm sitting in my boss's office. He says this, I say that. You feel like you're watching it right there in the room, don't you? It's subtle, but it is strong. It helps the audience get that you are there moment as opposed to you feeling more like you're reporting on what happened. But try this when you tell your next story. Craft it in the present tense and watch how the audience leans in a little bit more and feels more connected to you and your narrative. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Music